Can you hear me? I can. Beautiful. How are you? Yay. Hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Your audio. How I hear you. Audio? Hello. <laughs> How are you? Excited. Hello. Hello. Hi. I waste my youth on you. Sitting around, we put the sound of your car. Your audio? I hear it. Oh I hear you. Wow. Oh my God. Great. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, no, you're fine. It was kind of funny just watching you like press the screen slowly. Yeah. <laughs> so are we talking about youth? Is that the song? That yeah, you... yeah. That was that youth. Yes. Sit. Um, with the story that the song tells exactly, um, is there any specific uh, advice you might give to people going through like a very harsh breakup like that? Um, Cause like, I know when I went through a huge breakup a few years ago, like friends, friends was like the biggest thing for me specifically. Is there a certain type of advice like that you would give? I mean, yes, so much advice. Youth is about being with someone who doesn't value you. You know, at least it was for right. me in that circumstance where I was like giving everything to someone and then I got enough distance away from it and I realized like he didn't even like see me. And so my advice for someone going through a breakup or in a relationship where they're not like valued is fucking dump them, right? Leave and then go get yourself to a place alone where you value yourself enough to only participate in relationships where you are valued as much. I think I saw there was like two other songwriters on it. So I just want to know how that process is, like telling a story with other individuals. Like how do they like impact the song lyrics? It's interesting. I feel like sometimes songwriting credits are like misleading in that way. So like I wrote the song, like the melodies and the lyrics at my kitchen table completely alone. And then one day I took it to the studio with Andrew and we got some chords underneath it. And then I sent the chords and the melody and lyrics to Zach Nasita, who him and I finished the production for every song on the record. And I kind of just gave him a blank slate because I was so attached to the song in general and he just kind of blew it completely out of the water and I needed a perspective shift and so he kind of opened my view of the song and then we just tracked vocals and finished it. How would you say like the main differences between collaborating like production wise or like collaborating with like another vocal artist? It's easier for me. I mean, partially because I'm antisocial. Um, and so <laughs> this this idea that um, w like when you're collaborating with certain producers, it's like you're going in or I'm going into the studio with a vision for what I'm doing, knowing what direction my ship is sailing. And so I have more power to steer things where I want to go, especially because most of what I write, I write for myself. You write about specific people like in your past or do you write about like the emotion behind specific songs if that makes sense yeah i think it's a combination i mean i think when you're writing or when i'm writing you're writing about an experience and so it's like if i think hard enough about it like i can pinpoint who that experience was with but it's, I am not such a literal writer in the sense where, yes, that is about a specific experience, but it can also be interpreted broadly. And so I think it's a combination of both. That might be, I'm just blanking right now. That might be all I have for you. You're totally fine. So thank you for being so amazing your fan. Thank you. You are too kind. And hopefully I'll see you next time I'm in Arizona. Bye.